Is Axel any good anymore? He's good in specific matchups, but those specific matchups are really rare. Man, I want to play Kassin so goddamn bad, but I don't want to first pick it. Oh, thank god. I want to try out that Kassin build. The, uh, that one that's like that one EU guy is doing and he's smurfing. He's like an 80% winner show, D1. It's rushing Ludens with Presence of Mind. I've been doing it in normals and some like flex on Quantum and it's been popping off actually. Can you join L9? I will take a quick pass on that one, sorry. The quickest of passes. I wonder if I can one shot this guy level 5. Sir, I am a level uh, 1 cast and I am not of much of use of helping you. Damn, if he actually sent an auto attack off. Oh, our Fjord is smurfing, I guess. Well, she has no more potions, and I have potions, so I can just poke her all day now at this point. Please, you need to accept you have a cast in the jungle, or in the mid lane. Oh, I'm actually fucking griefing. If I actually landed that E, he was dead. Thank you for my electrocute prod. This casting build is so fucking good. I feel useful pre like two items. I could go for the plates or I could go for this bot lane gang. I have to go for one. Nice. You rush Ludens and then you just go like literally cast them, like Lich Bane, CDR basically. Oh wait, I didn't even lose a plate. I thought me going bot lane there would make me lose one of the plates mid. Can I have that? Is that a thing? It appears to not be a thing and I lose a plate. I could have gone for a plate, but I, hope, I was hoping for that odd chance he'd give it to me. I was really hoping for it. Can do anything. What is he doing? Goodbye, Ash. Goodbye. The max tackle. If Annie walks up, she boom. Oh, she's top. Hey, Lee Sin, you wanna walk into this bush? I know where they're going. What? They're not coming down here? Where are you guys at? Hello? Annie? Lee Sin? Tip of the hat, boys. Casting's online. See, I feel like this build's super good because I'm useful. When have you seen a casting useful before 10 minutes? Let me hear it. Never. This doesn't happen in League. You just don't see a useful casting too often.
That fear is disgusting. Okay, well, I'm 10 0 and 4. To be fair, I don't even think Abdo makes Cast useful pre 10 minutes. Or else I better not. Nah, CDR is usually the best stop. Please don't, please don't. Thank you. 2300 gold. Nah, I don't think Merlis is better. It's just better to get CDR as quick as possible. That's like the half the reason this build's good. I'm um, 40% CDR and like being useful pre 20 minutes. Because usually CDR is just like the main stop for Cassidy, to be honest. And also Lich Bane just doing another 260, 260 damage on my W. It's pretty useful. I'm talking about. I'm griefing. I auto the. Let's just pretend that death didn't happen, okay, boys? I don't think I can actually ever really kill the Galio, though, because it's just Galio. But the rest of his team is going to get one shot by me later in the game. They'll cleanse into Galio. Nah, dude, I'm killing this guy. Too bad, so if I just play the lane right, the only way I'm going to die is if he flash W's me. The one reason why I kind of like this skin, actually, more than Cosmic, is just because he keeps these little things on the bottom of his ground. The little lines. Isn't Galio very OP right now? Yes, he is pretty much... One of the best main leaders in the game. Because his damage is just way too goddamn high for his tankiness and utility. Like, full AP Galio, like, with, like, if you have 700 AP on Galio, late game, your Q does, like, literally reads, do 60% of their max HP. Why is he low? What did he do? There's one Korean Kassin who will go absolute focus in Gathering Storm, or in Scorch, because he is always trying to, like, solo kill them level 4. I wanted to try that. Every time he actually lets me W him, I get so much mana back. Nice, got the old bait out right there. Buffered my R, so I just like R out of the thing. I'm gonna try Ludens in a Galio. Let's see how it goes. Okay, there's there's the difference between Vlad and Galio in a 1v1 is there's there's two different types of things. There is DPS and there is burst. Galio will do more damage in a second than Vlad will do in a second. That's just how it is. But if you give them 10 seconds, Vlad will do like five times as much to the Galio. But in 1v1s, it doesn't matter how long. It is, the 10 seconds usually doesn't happen. It's most 1v1s end in like five. And the reason why Galio has the potential of winning the 1v1 is if like Galio flash WQ like EQs and one shots him, then like Vlad dies before he can do anything. But obviously if Vlad like predicts the flash W and you like W it, then Galio is just gonna die. It's just how it is with burst champions. Yeah, this build's really, really fucking good if you get ahead. Oh, I'm a fucking I'm a fucking memer. Guys, guys, okay, just so you know, if you are a 2 0 and 3 Kassin with a 450 shut, gold shutdown, you do not go for that. I repeat, you do not go for that, okay? I'm smelling that so many years in advance.
Goodbye. Nick, they have families. Have mercy. Kassan has no mercy. Excellent. You need to update Kassan's uh, champion so he actually responds when he sees guys in the game. Oh, that wasn't in range. I'm, 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 I'm quite sad now. No, no, nobody messes with Kassan. Infinite AP Vigar. I guess that too. But not really. I guess if you had, if actually, if you could stay in a game forever, then yeah, I guess I would do Vigar because your W would be doing like 4,000 damage and be on like on a 0.1 second cooldown. But the thing is, is how long the games have to end no matter what. Nasus would do more than Vigar. No, I don't think so because Nasus uh, has an auto attack animation where Vigar's W can be spammed like, like you know, like, pew, 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 kind of thing.